For the first time since the coronavirus started and their plans had to be put on hold, volunteers are out here cleaning up the old St. Augustine Church here in North St. Louis. It's a partnership between the Augustine Project and Brightside St. Louis. At the corner of Linmore and Hebert, the Augustine Project, along with Brightside St. Louis, teamed up for the effort. When I saw a Facebook post about them trying to build something out here, I thought that it's definitely an area that could use some support and love, and I just think that it's a great way to spend my Saturday. Volunteers brought some of their own tools and safety equipment. An American Eagle Ways donated a 40-yard dumpster for the cleanup. But their focus wasn't only on their rehab. We're actually going to spread out into the community a little bit and clean up some surrounding neighborhood streets as well. Um, we don't just want to focus on the church because this is going to be a very long project. We want to focus on some immediate needs too. Their goal is to turn this old church into a community center with educational programs, a wellness space, and a community garden, among other things. It's going to really be a hub and a pillar of this place. The church was built back in 1896. Augustine Project President Brittany Breeden bought the property for about $7,000 in back taxes and fees to return it to the community. Lots of people love this building, um, neighbors included, but this is about more than that. It's about building something for the future. Um, so I really want people to understand that this is going to take a while, but when it's done, it's going to be worth something um, to the people that live here. They've set their first fundraising goal at $10,000. The restoration project is expected to cost $10 million. Every little hand helps, especially with um, such a big project. Organizers say this is a big undertaking that cannot be done without your help. You can either donate your time or make a monetary donation. We'll put a link in this story on our website at kplr11.com on how to do just that. In North St. Louis, Michelle Medeiros, News 11.